very good morning to students today we are going to learn mining different type of mining missionaries in that part um, draglan is the one of the important uh, missionary using in the uh, most of the open cast mines particularly in, in a large uh, um, open cast mine for the removal on the ore burden removal the special equipment you are using now you are studying about that uh, structure construction of uh, mission uh, various parts of uh, functions and place of application of uh, uh, the particular drug line and also the production calculations uh, and various uh, uh, accepts of uh, mission is concerned also we're going to learn in the uh, around 48 uh, minutes almost 50 minutes uh, uh, 48 slides of the ppts huh? well uh, my name is karuna kumar hod mining uh, where this topic is a uh, present list of main parts functions and place of applications of draw lines let us uh, uh, after completion of uh, this topic we can able to understand the list the main parts functions and place of application of draw line now what is the main by the definitions of which draw line means a draw line is excavator it is a, an excavator is a piece of a heavy equipment used in the civil engineering and surface mining and excavating a large excavator use a drag line to pull a bucket uh, by wire cable. The operator lower uh, the bucket down to material that is uh, supposed to be excavated. A drag line falls in a heavy equipment category. So as per the structure is concerned, um, uh, that is it's coming to the under the uh, category of the heavy equipment. Uh, compared to the all the equipment, what are the equipment using in the open cast? This is a top uh, heavy structure wise concern. Uh, most of in uh, our single and colonies, there is a two uh, drug lines presently working. Uh, both are in uh, RG area. Uh, one is a Bhima and another is a Prithviraj. These, uh, these are the names of uh, the particular uh, mission name. Uh, where the local name they are putting, you know, North India is most of the drug lines are there in small size capacity also available drogland excavator is used for a civil engineering projects and surface mining drogland is the largest equipment ever built on this planet uh, it has an ability to excavate a very deep down to earth that is a very special a very very deep uh, down the earth the word drug is used because it has the ability to drag material as per for the distance from the mission uh, this is basically dragging mechanism, uh, the long rope towards the mission uh, with long depth to, from the away the mission. They, so that is called as a drag line. The name, name came from that uh, particular operation is uh, concerned. Uh, the drag word is uh, came into force. This is a simple uh, mission here showing in a picture. Uh, it is a photograph taken. Uh, for the you can understand the uh, what view of uh, the mission
so this is a major uh, drag line uh, view so simply you can observe this is a basic uh, superstructure mission there is a a shape tower is there here is a drag uh, this is a rope is there one rope for the boom boom rope which is called as a boom rope the major uh, uh, influencing and operation is uh, success because of this boom only so because the boom length is influencing the radius of the mission and also angles also and uh, some rope is coming inside that this is a bucket we call as a drag rope the hoist rope so this is the actual bucket so the throw out and dragging that is called as a drag line so one more uh, sketch you can observe here you can easily see the operations various operations and uh, parts of uh, that particular uh, drag line mission this is a hoist rope hoist coupler drag line bucket drag line coupler drag rope so this is a completed uh, uh, view of the mission parts concerned some more some more parts and some of elaboration is there here it is also so mission house and a hoist rope drag rope bucket uh, the pressing there is a walking drag line mechanism so this is not a crawler mounted it's a walking drag line mechanism because if you draw it with due to this weight if you go inside that's why they making the drag line in the circular shape uh, bottom is there uh, that will be explain uh, in the coming slides also this is a view the picture will view of uh, drag line nature So now, this is also an interme intermediate discharging type excavator. The mission is well known for the having a long best boom among excavators. The boom length is varies from 9 to 96 meters. Uh, 9 to 96 meters. Uh, unlike other excavators, the bucket is not uh, rigid, rigidly held by the uh, frame structure. Uh, filling the bucket is done by pulling uh, uh, or dragging it against the material towards the mission because of which uh, mission is named uh, drag line so that is why it is called as a name how their name is kept that is the main uh, cause the dragging uh, the bucket is a dragging after filling it is a dragging towards the mission so that's why it is called a drag line the greatest the greatest skill required to control a bucket uh, intensive operation of these excavators uh, under favorable geo mining conditions results in the cheapest means of uh, ore burden remover. Uh, such missions are made uh, made made by a number of manufacturers in uh, many size, sizes and capacity, enabling correct matching between the plan planned requirement and the equipment selected. This, miss, this mission is also capable of digging below the working level. That is the one advantage, just like Baku, is stable in the highest level and working in the lowest level. And also to equal levels also. So that is the more, most uh, of uh, area of mining. Uh, we are using such type of operation. So uh, if the frame is centric, Working shoe, uh, base, fair lead. Fair lead is one of uh, important function. It will see that uh, this is a complete, uh, not image. It is a line diagram. You can uh, observe the operations so how they are going inside. Here there will be a drum. This is called as a uh, drag drum. There will be drag drum, just like winding engine drum. Uh, the rope is a coiling and decoiling here uh, another is a boom drum this is also one is there next also hoisting drum is also there so here the rope drum is coming through the fair lead. 
so this is the drawing drawing cable and some the cable is connecting to the dumping cable and also the hoist cable and it's a bucket drag chains are there because the bucket will be uh, sometime uh, uh, dragged while uh, digging is the uh, such position is required after digging and so powering uh, the lifting of time also the position will be changed so that there will be a uh, drag chains are there this is a hoist cable this is a basic superstructure a frame and also the eccentric walking shoes this is the most important thing the base and turn table because the machine will be turning 360 degrees from the same position may most of the 180 degrees is compulsory to movement is required for the powering 92 meters either and 180 meters at a time the metal can be transported from one point to another point so from here to here this is called as a 92 maximum for the uh, distance of radius another one is so total 180 meters uh, it can be powered the material from the collected point to other end so he, the uh, the turn table uh, they provide here and also what is the base is there so walking shoes also available for the movement of the from this place to other place so movement is very less that is one of the basic uh, disadvantage also but uh, this much of heat cannot move once once the fixed uh, the movement uh, for uh, for purpose you have to stabilizing the in our on ground because of no um, loose ground so one dozer will be working always in around that one the compaction is there once preparing the base then the drog line will be stay on that uh, operation is starting so this is also one view uh, the drog line at operation uh, lowest level to dig the highest level this is a different uh, the bench is is low the compared to the so this is also convenient it will be completely taken this part portion by the dragging then there is upper body uh, tri structure deflection sieves boom point sieves oh, this is showing the various type of angles making at uh, mission the lower body is mission there is a angles x y direction so at the junction of uh, car center of the boom the what are the functions are here showing here so classification the mission can be classified in the following manner uh, drag line uh, is called basic drag line is classified depending upon the um, mechanism depending depending upon the the movement of the vehicle of the drag line the classification simple drag line system is there self propelled means crawler mounted and walking drag line and uh, propelled by the external agents wagon mounted and track mounted so these are the classifications of the drag line
crawler mounted drug line. This type of drug line is mounted on two crawler units similar to those of shovel, which have been discussed uh, in shovel cases uh, in earlier, earlier classes. The travel mechanism, the general travel is mounted on the, uh, the travel mechanism. The travel, uh, the travel mechanism, uh, swing mechanism, boom hoist mechanism, and bucket hoist mechanism are operated in the same way as those of the showers. So similarly, the, everything is same, but except walking mechanism. Uh, the drug and traveling mechanism from uh, um, the swinging mechanism, boom hoist mechanism, bucket hoist mechanism are the operated the same way as those of the showers. Into these bucket drag mechanism is introduced the drag of the bucket towards the mission during the excavation. So walking drag line. These are the drag lines where the crawlers units are replaced by walking mechanism. The following are the various components of such drag lines. Uh, bucket, boom. Uh, power transmissions, bucket operation, boom hoist, swing motion walking mechanism, undercarriage unit, lubrication systems. So bucket, these are the available in three model. Uh, that is a light, medium, and heavy duty buckets. These are the available in three models. That is a light, medium, and heavy duty bucket. The bucket is usually rectangular in section, box type, Components with an opening on outside, on side, remain all are closed side. The bucket is attached uh, to the drag line boom by means of hoist cable. Uh, as it is rear end, while the front part is attached to the drag dragging cables. So this is the construction of the bucket. The most of the in drag lines, bucket is a major role because highest uh, capacity buckets, so only the efficiency can be fulfilled. Minerals are fed uh, into the bucket through the front open site and are discharged by the water running the bucket at the dumping point. Uh, the buckets with uh, perforated walls are also available in some designs. The digging teeth of the bucket are also uh, replaceable type. The bucket is provided with a drag chain and a hoist chain. The hoist chain is fitted with the spreader bar. One end of the hoist chain is attached to the dump sleeve housing, uh, and the other end is connected to the side walls. The drop chain is attached to the front side of the bucket at one end, while the other end is attached to the drag yoke. There is a dump cable connected between the drag yoke and arch of the bucket through the dump sleeve. This is the basic st construction of the uh, structural uh, points of the uh, chains, how the chains will be connecting to the uh, bucket and how they will be lifting and what the dragging, uh, where do, uh, the chain will be moving. These will be here, um, I explained. And boom is one of the important part of the you know, drag line system. Uh, these booms are three types of uh, mainly categorized. Uh, one is a short length boom. These consist of the fabricated uh, tabular uh, structure with the great depth at the middle and uh, pointed towards the end. They are used in a smaller size drag line. They are also used in a smaller size drag line. Uh, tubular column type. The main number of uh, the main number of these type of booms is made of tubes of low alloy steel. The tubular elements are joined together by means of the flange and boards. The long overhang boom is held in the position by means of the stay ropes, which are de designed suitably for the purpose. The boom and the stay ropes are joined together uh, through the lung with a pin and fixed the position by means of the special locking devices. So these are the major uh, uh, um, advantages and boom was made. Uh, generally, the boom, if you have every head, the machine will be falling in front. So that uh, the boom is made with a hollow shape filled with you know, some gas to balancing of the 
both boom and uh, main mission the boom mounted with the stair ropes uh, represented the structure brass in the three sides uh, has great strength and stability this is the strength of uh, material uh, structure uh, balancing of uh, structure uh, to avoid sagging of the boom a vertical stair rope is introduced which uh, compensates by providing a tension uh, load to the vertical uh, stair uh, vertical uh, stair ropes tensioning of the stair ropes is achieved with the helping of special hydraulic devices most of the booms are available in 15 by 19 drop lengths they called as a uh, the type of drop lengths uh, in, uh, in numerically showing that with the boom length so 15 is a bucket capacity 19 is a drag uh, boom so here numbering is the most of the very important what is the 50 meter cube bucket capacity 90 meter is the length of the similar uh, we have always uh, the uh, size of the drag length can measure uh, in, in both the boom and bucket capacities. This is a very uh, typical uh, nomenclature for the drag line identification, drag line size uh, um, representation. Long length uh, tr truss bombs, uh, these are made of the tubular framework. The overhang boom is supported by the stair ropes, which in turn are supported by an A frame and mast. This type of boom is used in 24 by 96 drag lengths. So, 26 meter cube uh, bucket capacity and 96 meter is the length of the boom. Tube members of the boom are filled with the inert gas, nitrogen up to the second part preserved. So, so that uh, pure uh, boom, uh, the, the cast iron is cause of the imbalancing. So that the hollow portion will fill nitrogen, pressurized nitrogen gas. Although tube members of the booms are inter internally connected, so that leakage at any point will affect the pressure. Uh, N2 for the whole boom and thereby we automatically provide the signal to immediate inspection. So some any uh, air one to do variant air or exposing of the rusty areas if the any uh, leakage happening the nitrogen gas that will also indication will be reached to the operator uh, and a set of provision is made in the engine room so what are the factors what are the factors other factors uh, that the angle swing or depth cut uh, um, uh, size of hauling units skill operator Here we observe the angle of swing. The time cycle is a directly proportional to the angle of the swing. Uh, if the angle of swing increases, output increase, decreases. So these are the one uh, vice versa relations. Angle of swing is also very important. Uh, if the angle of swing is increasing for, for purpose of the angle increasing, so automatically output is reducing. So this is link up with the bucket uh, performance also. Depth cut. If work at optimum depth, 
uh, for the uh, maximum is the 90 meters is the depth of the cut optimum depth depending upon the type of soil size of the bucket if bucket size is increased optimum depth of the cut also increases size of haul hauling unit the hauling unit trucks of a desired size should be made available to avoid a delay to get more output skill of operators so these are the major affecting of dogland performance is a concern uh, angle of swing depth of the cut size of hauling unit skill of operators so these are the uh, four factors four factors are the uh, major uh, um, influence effect for the dogland So this is 15 meter cube bucket of 90. That is a 15 by 90. 15 by 90 showing that 15 meter is a bucket size. 90 is a the boom length. So see the bucket uh, uh, structure, uh, bucket uh, functioning uh, chains. So here clearly showing the uh, spreader bar spreader bar is a this a two chain between there is spreader bar there without uh, colliding the two chains this is a hoist rope coming from the um, top of the tower and uh, this is our small sieve is here given they throw that to dump rope is going on this uh, links are there so bucket body
these are the bucket teeth there is a bucket body spreader board and a dump it the same uh, figure we are showing the, uh, the side view this is the front to front side you can observe the spreader bar here i am showing here spreader bar so this is the other side there will be chain another chain in here so this is a spreading between the, uh, the so this is a bucket to front view uh, these are the teeth this is the depth of the bucket this is the height of the bucket so this is less like box type complete closing box but except to open the uh, top and front so remain all sides are be closed so chain will be attached here and other chain is coming and just like uh, uh, balance uh, balancing weight balance just like by weight balance uh, to plates uh, there similarly a manual uh, weighing box weighing similar they will be lifting this chain will connect it from here the drag chain is going on so in front also some drag chains are there in, inside so here the figure is showing very well so right these are this yes. these are dragging chains these are lifting the hoisting so oh, this is the supporters for that one so according to our requirement uh, if, you, uh, if you loosen it will be go outside if if you tighten the meter will be insert into a box um, and later will be lifting by lifting without uh, down uh, what the material they will be stable uh, by the uh, balancing of these chains so a lot of skill is required for the those who are the operator a uh, lot of skill is required uh, to maintain that the bucket in you know, a stabilizing in the while digging and swinging time also so these to be the care should be taken So this is walking drag line mechanism, uh, staying ropes, the rope uh, drag, uh, drag rope, boom is 90 meters of boom, the hoisting rope is given, this is the master structure. So similarly the line diagram is showing here very clearly how bucket will be lifting, this is the hoist rope, uh, there will be drop chain is there, this is the pulling chain, these are the bucket chains so bucket is a, is a completely um, get down bottom down while uh, moving from other place but at the same time when a material is taken out so this will be uh, other position it will come to the horizontal position this is now the vertical position bucket is showing here so this is the top view of the same situation is showing here the bucket top view here this is the top view the bucket side view is also showing here. Place of application of drag line. Drag lines are used to excavate uh, overburden. Uh, since the capacity of the drag line is high, two or more overburden benches match to one expert carrying from the top of the bench. So this is basically exclusively meant for the drag line for the OB removal only. So drag lines are used to excavate overburden 
since the capacity of the drawl is high two or more or uh, overburden benches merged to one excavation carried out for the top of the bench so see very clearly observed here uh, the digging of uh, or depth the the base stay, staying in the uh, high level and the bench drag bucket is working in the lower level This is another uh, same uh, sketch then field how uh, drug land working model this is a dozer or ashlages treatments for the drug is essential because of preparation of ground in and all that one so this is the digging of uh, under under of the level of a drug line bench. Then, so one more model is very clearly uh, see that the the area how much uh, the one drug line influencing uh, uh, by staying in the up, uh, one baseline to work in the lower level. So this is the area to cast the material to here, and from the another tandem casting also there. There one more title and stay here. This will be lifted to other side. So this is a very huge removal of the OB concern, OB removal operation.
So this is the bench, same problem is showing. The bucket is uh, in, inside the uh, dig cut, you got drag cut. Output of next, the, the calculation output is also essential for the um, drag line uh, bucket calculation purpose. The how much output you can be getting. So, for that first output of the drag lines, the output of drag line will vary with the following factors. Uh, what are the factors you can see here? Uh, class of the material. So, depending upon the whether the core OB, OB, OB which is a clay at nature or some boulder in nature. So these are some influencing factors. The first number one factor. The class of the material. Next, depth of the cut. So that is on one of the influencing factor for the, the output to getting the output. Uh, site and type of bucket. Uh, the order, the type of site of the bucket and the type of the buckets. Length of the boom. The 90 meters, 96 meters, 100 meters. So this is also one influencing factor. Method of disposal, casting or loading haul units. Site of the hauling unit when used, uh, skill of the operators, physical condition of the mission, job conditions. So, class of the material, depth of the cut, angle of swing, size and type of bucket, length of the boom, method of disposal, casting of or loading haul units, size of the hauling units, uh, skill of the operators physical condition of the mission, job conditions. So these are the uh, factors for the uh, for the factors affected with other pro, uh, influencing factors uh, for the drag line. Depth cut, angle of swing, size of the bucket, length of the boom, job condition, physical condition of the mission. So with old mission, the performance will be low. Job condition also will be low. Length of boom is one bucket, size is also angle of swing, depth of the cut. So factors affecting the drop production. These are the factors also important factors for the production, getting the production, good production. And coming to depth cut and angle of sin. The ideal production of drop line are provided by the manufacturer for working at what uh, optimum depth at 90 degrees. Angle of sin also assume 100% efficiency for actual operation. Uh, the depth and uh, angle of sin will be different. It is uh, adjusted by uh, swing depth factor. So now uh, I go to the a special problem uh, how to calculating the uh, production um, for bucket capacity calculation purpose. Uh, how to bucket capacity minimum, minimum bucket capacity would calculate a simple uh, example I was would like to give in here for the exercise purpose. A drog line is required, a drog line is required, removing the 3 lakhs meter cube of rock per month. So this is a monthly target of the drug line. You are fixed. So this 3 lakhs meter cube of uh, per month have to uh, excavate in monthly capacity is concerned. So volume is concerned. So consider the following data hours we given. Uh, the working uh, per month 150 hours it working. So bucket fill factor is given, uh, 80 percent uh, will be filling. For uh, powering, they are taking the loading, swinging, dumping again, uh, swinging again, coming to same position to take 65 seconds. So this is operator efficiency, most of the influencing factor. Swell factor is 1.25. Most of the uh, drag line uh, swell factor is more because 
not in a fine inside swell fact is more because the uh, consolidated material rather the ob material there's a 1.25 so then calculate the bucket capacity so for which you have to use a simple uh, mathematical formula uh, given here that is a 60 in seconds uh, measure in time so that uh, 60 to 60 360 and fill factor and bucket capacity multiplied by cycle time into swell factor these are the general production productivity of the meter cube per hour for calculation purpose we are using formula so for which which are data we have we already we have uh, draglan uh, productivity per month draglan productivity per month uh, already given 3 lakh meter cube uh, effective working hours per month um, already given 450 hours 450 hours bucket fill factor 0 0.8 already given cycle time already given swell factor 1 point so now coming to the uh, drogler productivity per hour how much uh, uh, the drogler will be produced so we get the hourly capacity required not in monthly production so uh, divided by the n hours uh, monthly hours will be uh, working for 450 hours so multiplied with uh, 450 at 3 lakhs by 450 we will get the the this much of it triple uh, 6.67 meter cube um, of per hour capacity of the drop line now that is equal to 3600 and fill factor and bucket capacity we don't know multiplied by the cycle time into swell factor so take it to bucket capacity in uh, left hand side so simple calculation will get 18.8 meter cube bucket capacity is required for the getting into 3 lakhs meter cube per annum sorry sir per month per month will getting the production this is a simple calculation purpose so this formula can be used whichever is required if you give in the bucket capacity we calculate the monthly capacity also so vice versa this is one of the model example in model uh, um, uh, problem for the cap bucket capacity calculations purpose now i am going to concluding the uh, summarizing these uh, main parts function place application drug line so far you have discussed uh, um, major parts of the drug line um, uh, that is uh, from uh, just showing one sketch so this is a very cute so they we were summarized once again this is a main superstructure this is a, a frame is there uh, there is a boom cable boom rope is there and also hoisting rope and also dragging rope and bucket and this bucket features also uh, observe the what are the bucket uh, um, chains and how they will be linking and uh, the, how the angle is maintaining so superstructure this is a very structure and big mish, mish, uh, dominated mission in the open cast is concerned so i hope that uh, we are aware that complete uh, um, parts and uh, these applications oriented various parts functions uh, we are all discussed it. Uh, then I go to the one quiz, uh, which is uh, important for their competitive exams. So, ESET or some uh, single junior mining engineering examination. So, this is a, one model I given here. Which of the following are the various components of drug line? Bucket and boom. So, basic components of the drug lines are bucket and boom because you are always measuring the uh, with the bucket 15 by 90. That means bucket capacity versus boom. So these two factors will be given to the every time uh, site whenever go uh, and visit mine visits or something we see that sir what is the uh, uh, basic uh, site so not uh, measure with the bucket generally but in case of drug line it's coming to the bucket versus boom so these two we have to mention there uh, then you, the 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 visit observe that you are know the very well in the subject of the mining is concerned. So now I am concluding the uh, the drug line uh, applications and uh, place application and its production calculations and other. Uh, I hope that you are understand very well. So go for write a, an assignment on this. Write about the drug line with neat sketch. Uh, mention the, all the parts and uh, uh, that particular uh, mission uh, in uh, one or two pages. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you very much.